So now if you make a practical circuit, you're going to want some way to have it off and stay off. You don't want to keep the power applied to the load at all times. We often use a normally open push button switch on the breadboard because it fits on there uh, really nicely and you can control it really easily. So uh, it's normally open, most of them. They come in normally closed ones, but uh, all the ones I have are normally open, which means there's a gap between uh, the connectors of the switch. Current cannot flow through because of that gap. So if you try to measure current at a point, it'll show no current flowing, zero milliamps current. You press the button though, that closes the gap. You make metal to metal contact, and it's almost a perfect conductor. You know, there's a little bit of resistance, but it's a lot less than 220 ohms of resistance. So the rest of the circuit sees the power supply now, the LEDs are going to drop a couple of volts if it's red, and then the resistor will set the current from there with uh, 5 minus 2 equals 3 volts left. We'll get about 14 milliamps of current, approximately.